Hello everybody, welcome to this video. So today I'm making the starter guide for Big Me B751C colored Android e-ink tablet. And I just received this device today and I immediately noticed there are a couple of fundamental settings that the device has left users to figure out. So I decided to make this video. By default, this device does a great job explaining things, especially when you first tap into these sections. Uh, there will be a short video pop-up explaining how you can set uh, the specific section up. But also left some, you know, uh, very essential parts for users to figure out. That's why I'm making this video to fill in those gaps. First thing first is the screen orientation. So by default, when you first receive the device, it should come in this orientation. And if you want to, you know, change the orientation to this size, so it it fits better for a right-handed person like me. What you can do is you just slide this down and this is the quick access menu. Turn, turn it to the second page and tap the screen orientation and select the third one. So this way you can place the buttons to the right side and it's more analogous to uh, devices like Kobo. So the second thing is the browser. Uh, by default, it comes with an uh, internal browser, but I found this browser crashing in uh, some applications or some websites like New York Times. And so I recommend you use Chrome for generally browsing things. And I think um, for the most users getting an Android device is because they also want to be reading browsers. Um, so Chrome is the one that you want it to go with. So if you open Chrome and you can see this is the New York Times and let me open this up. You can see um, these texts aren't very saturated. It's uh, sometimes like kind of difficult to read. So to fix this is while you're in this Chrome application, you want to tap this contrast icon here to bring up the e-ink center. So by default, the e-ink center, this is the e-ink pro profile. The default profile has a normal refresh mode and auto clean is turned on, but the contrast setting is set to zero. So this is the minimal value and vivid enhancement. This doesn't apply to the fast refresh mode if you take a look at here. So this one you don't have to you know worry about and the color brightness is zero. So in order to bump up the contrast or the saturation for the text, what you can do is you go to the custom mode and slide this contrast setting from zero to all the way to some value to for me I think 40 is the best. So then you can see these texts become becomes more clear. And now you can turn this off and you can close the application or go back to the home application. The next time when you open Chrome, um, it will automatically apply the color profile that you just selected. So you can also access the e-ink center by sliding down the top edge. And here it's the custom mode and contrast setting is set to 40. Um, there might be occasions you want to read uh, mangas or the comics using browser. So in that case, so there is a comic that I, you know, open. You can see this refresh mode isn't really for a comic. The comic looks kind of, you know, mushy like potato. So in this case, what you can do is in order to clean this up, you can access the e-ink center and select the comic mode. So in this way, you can see these pictures. Now they show, uh, they show up pretty nicely. It's definitely better than the fast refresh mode. So once you, so depend on the content you're reading, you can set this uh, e-ink center, the color profile up. And so if t for text, anything like news, I like to set this to custom mode with a normal refresh rate, refresh rate 
and auto clean turned on, contrast settings set to 40, and vivid enhancement, this doesn't matter, but this is default 70 and color brightness is zero. And you can also do app optimization here. So for example, in the browser, this is, I think is by default is 300 DPI. With 300 DPI, you will find these text quite small. It's very tiny to read. So what you can do is you go to the e-ink center, go to app optimization. So this DPI will be set only for this Chrome application. Now we can bump this up to something like 430. And boom, these text will become larger. So that is how you set up the uh, e-ink profile and bump up the text saturation and setting the DPI for the specific application. So once we return to the home menu or X launcher, the Android home menu, um, you'll find in the e-ink center, it returned to default uh, automatically. So this color profile is set for each individual apps. So if you, if you think this home screen is bit less saturated and you want to bump up the contrast, you can apply the same method, set it to custom, and it will automatically set the previous value set for the Chrome application. So this way, you can see now these icons shows up more, uh, more saturated. So that is the second thing, reading with browsers, setting up the text contrast and the size and everything. The third thing is the keyboard. So by default, it comes with the Android vanilla keyboard and that keyboard doesn't support uh, other languages. So for example, you wanna type in Japanese, the default um, input method, it only supports the whatever the operating system's language. So if you want to select other methods, you wanna download this input method called a Gboard and you want to head into the settings by clicking this gear icon and go to the input method. And by default, it was Android keyboard AOSP. And instead of this, you want to select the Gboard. So this way you can, you know, select more input methods uh, for, for this software. So, for now, I have English and Chinese selected. You can add more languages for this. For example, if you if you if you can type uh, read Russian, you can choose Russian from this list and add it to the to the keyboard. And for using the input method, you can tap it, and now you can see this. Um, keyboard shows up and by long pressing the space button you can choose the what keyboard you want to use so if you want to use russian you can select the third one now you can type in the russian language so that is how you set up the keyboard so for the last part is to how to increase the ui font size so we just Increase the font size and specific application by increasing the DPI in the e-ink center in the app optimization. But how can you increase the font size on this um, Android UI? Is that you can click the gear icon and go into the font set and increase it to the large here. And you select confirm. And now you can go back. It will automatically return you back to the um, main this main screen or the X launcher and you can see the system UI automatically becomes larger. Just note the DPI and the system font size is completely different thing. For example, the font that we just set up for the Google, if we return back into the New York Times, it will still use the optimization, the value we set in the optimization, which is 430 DPI for this. So that's how you can set up those fundamental aspects of this device. And if you like this video, click a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye bye.